All right, so here we go with another video. This time I'm using the uh, Spectran V6 and uh, this USB GPS. And so the whole goal of this video is to uh, be mobile and drive around and create a heat map uh, on one particular frequency for a P25 Phase 1 tower that is in town here. I have this equipment with me and I've been wanting to do this. Uh, I've actually did it with SDR for space and SDR Angel has something similar but uh, I think in this case I wanted to use the um, RSA 2000X piece of equipment. So I got a GPS like I said and 10 on top running off a laptop and to do this I found that uh, I, well one I need to stop uh, GPSD if I can get my password right here And we're going to set uh, the TTY USB 0 to 4800 baud rate after, let me close out software and we'll open it again. I'll set this to 4800 and I'm also going to put it in the correct mode. In this case, NMEA, I think, is what it's called. So I'm going to run that command there. And this should set up this particular GPS to be compatible with the RTSA software. All right, so get this set up here real quick. I'm going to actually open a new mission. And I have this GPS that's unlocked, uh, GPS block that's unlocked, and the Spectrum V6. So I'm going to double left click on GPS. I'm going to go to main. I'm going to change this to, I think it's the serial one with 4800. And so, and because I have internet, I can come down to map config and set this to open street map and yep looks looks pretty pretty accurate here as to where currently sitting to set this up and then the other thing is we're going to come here and we're going to drag out this rf drive test i got that out there let me think uh, we also need to change this to seven 77253 is the center freak. 7253. I'm going to turn amp on. We'll do a reference level of 38. And I think this should be good. Other than we'll double left click our drive test and we'll set our map config up. And so really this is only the second time I've done this, so I'm not sure of all the uh, settings, but I know when I when I start this, this RF drive test will snap over to where uh, we actually are. Uh, so I think everything is set up. We're going to start driving, and uh, we're pretty far away. Not super far away, but um, a decent amount from the actual antenna here. So everything has started, and let me think. I'm going to I'm going to undock this. Um, RF drive test window for a second and blow it up full screen here and we are wanting to look at 772 right here and I'm going to see if I can narrow this down some 772 let me redock it and we are going to start moving. The only other thing is I think we could take this span down some and maybe get a closer look at the signal here. So now I'm going mobile. We're moving. And so now, let's see. So we should be starting to create this uh, heat map here in real time. And I want... Uh, drag out the video too long. We're just going to come down and uh, get closer to this area where the uh, the tower is actually at. And what I'm expecting to see is that the uh, DBM, uh, well we should see the color uh, increase. Now the only thing is uh, if you if I narrow this down some more here I think that will reset the heat map. Um, matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do that now just so we can focus more on 
this signal here and let's let's see if we can get started again here we'll, we'll kind of reset okay so all right we actually I can kind of see the tower off into the distance so we're gonna go a little bit away from it we're gonna swing back around and just do a quick loop here and come up right by the tower uh, just to see how this this heat map works and so if you're not watching the news lately I'm sure you can see uh, or quickly figure out uh, by a quick search of East Palestine uh, what has happened here recently and I talked about that in the last video I also shared some links on how to donate uh, to the area or support the area uh, I'm, I'm just back here and I have this equipment so I thought I'd uh, take this opportunity to talk about it a little bit so alright I think we're gonna go we're gonna go over by it here and see how what happens to the uh, signal strength here and then I'm sure there's more settings under a uh, heat map or the histogram coloring scheme or coding uh, or even under main that could probably set this up a little better I'm not super familiar with it I just wanted to see the general concept and how it would work with the uh, Spectrum V6 and so far on Dragon OS this is installed and running and and I'm just really happy with the uh, GPS connection they do have uh, I guess an actual uh, GPS that's designed for this I know the radio itself the SDR itself has a uh, GPS in it but I don't have the appropriate uh, antenna to be able to hook to that so I'm using what I could get here which was this USB GPS so getting closer I can I can kind of see it right off my front right and we'll get up right by it I can see even just from um, this zoomed back I, I'm looking at the right and I see the the uh, signal strength uh, increasing I can see in the bottom it's increasing so I know we're getting closer and probably ideally you drive around and and you know 360 or whatever around to really map this out good just kind of going almost direct to it and we'll drive right by it you can see the uh, what are we almost at 50 okay and so yep and it's a pretty decent size tower so now I would imagine that if we were able to drive all the way around it we could kind of encompass or create that that heat map uh, with with better accuracy okay I guess I guess we actually can so we'll try that real quick and see if we can drive around it and then uh, yeah let's see okay so it's off to my right it's it's right kinda in this area right here okay we'll do one quick loop around it and this is a p25 phase one I wonder uh, you know there's probably another channel over here that maybe is being talked on right now I should have probably had SDR trunk uh, open in Dragon OS, which by the way, I in the latest Dragon OS Focal X that's updated and now supports SDR Play uh, equipment. I, I haven't tried it yet; forgot to actually bring that with me. But just know that that's um, updated. So 
so we can see if I zoom in, you know, it's getting it's getting uh, hotter, I guess you'd say, in this area right here compared to when we were further away. Now it's again off to my right, a little bit further away, up on the hill. So you can see the power levels when you zoom in. So I'd, I'd say this is a pretty handy uh, a tool here and not too hard to use. All right, so that uh, I think I'll end it here. That shows how to at least use this, and yeah. All right, thanks for uh, thanks for watching.